So why are we talking about drug shows? We're going to use it as an analogy. When we study chemistry, we learn that all matter is composed of smaller elements. Mixtures, like blue sky, are made up of chemical substances, which are made of chemical compounds, which are made of molecules, which are made of atoms. Likewise, in language, and more specifically grammar, texts are made up of clauses, which are made up of groups and phrases, which are made up of words, which are made up of morphemes, the smallest units of meaning. Why does this matter? Well, let's compare the structure of these two texts. You'll see that the information is the same, but the structure is quite different. Which one do you prefer? So in text A, we have six sentences. We know this because there are six full stops. There are also six clauses. A clause is a grammatical unit containing a verbal group. In comparison, text B is only one sentence, one full stop. It contains two clauses because there are two verbal groups, tells and diagnosed. This clause is expanding the information about the chemistry teacher. We call it an embedded clause. Let's focus on the second part of the sentence. A struggling high school chemistry teacher diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer. This is a long noun group. Long noun groups are common to academic writing because they can encapsulate lots of information like he has no money, he works in a high school, and he teaches chemistry. The distinction between academic and non-academic writing is not black and white. It's more of a continuum. At one end, we have, for example, a tweet. You can see it's not being produced for an academic audience and it has interjections like wow, contractions like don't, colloquial spelling like these ones, personal pronouns, and it's also missing punctuation. Here's a more academic text. Where do you think it comes from? You can pause the video to read it. This is an excerpt from a journal article. We can find examples of technical language, including words coming from Latin and Greek. We also have quite long nominal groups. This one, for example, has seven words, and there are no contractions or personal pronouns.